Hi Mixers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, um, we are gonna be making these chocolate tart, chocolate fruit tart thingies in ramekins because, well, I don't really, to be honest, I just don't have like the fruit tart pan mold thing and I don't really make fruit tarts that often so I didn't really wanna go out and get it. Let's get on to the next clip. This way, I think, this way, this way, whoosh. <laughs> okay, so to start off, we're going to add about one fourth of a cup of pecans and five Oreo cookies. I'm just using off-brand ones, so <laughs> whatever. Anyways, we're going to put them in our food processor and process them until they're like a uh, fine, like, um, like dirt kind of texture. Um, you can also do this by hand if you have the patience for that. Melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter and then add your Oreo crumble and your pecan crumble thing. <laughs> Mix it all up. Keep mixing until you get like a coarse sand kind of texture. There's no greasing involved in this, so just take like about half of your mixture and put it in a ramekin. Um, my ramekin is a six ounce ramekin, so um, here I am just like pressing it and just make sure to go all around the rims and the bottom and everywhere. This is what it should look like once you're done, and then just do it for the other ramekin. So let our two ramekins just hang out on the side while we make our filling. So in a bowl, we're gonna put in one fourth of a cup of chocolate chips, but for warning, I ended up using like one whole cup of chocolate chips. So you might wanna just have like one cup on hand. But anyways, you can watch me fail for now. <laughs> and then we're gonna put three fourths of a cup of heavy whipping cream in a saucepan. Just kidding guys, I lied, it's just one whole cup. Place it on your stove and put it on low heat for now and then once it's simmering like there's bubbles on the side that's when we turn it off and pour our heavy cream over our chocolate sorry for the interruption in the middle of the recipe you guys but i really really want recommendations on what to make like what you guys would like to see so could you please leave that down in the comments please like the comments make my day i'm not even kidding like i love reading the comments the nice ones of course <laughs> I haven't gotten a lot of hate comments yet, yet, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but yeah, please leave like suggestions down below or if you want me to do a Q&A soon, I will. Um, I'm warming up to the idea of like showing my face more, so I hope you guys are going to like enjoy that. Anyways, back to the recipe, this way or this way, I don't know, <laughs> but just leave down, leave, leave below suggestions. Leave suggestions below down in the comments. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, sorry for the interruption, but we're back and we're mixing our heavy cream and our chocolate chips right now. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, I needed to put more chocolate chips, but I didn't realize it at the time. So here I am scrambling at the last minute to add about three fourths of a cup of more chocolate chips. <laughs> So basically you want your final texture to be like a pretty thick chocolatey, um, you know, just like a ganache. Um, so yeah, we're just going to put that into our ramekins, see how thick it is. That's how we want it. And that's, I literally had chocolate milk at the beginning, so this was a lot better. <laughs> Okay, so here are our two filled ramekins and they look super glossy. So I put them in the fridge for about an hour and here's how they turned out. They look so good and like smooth on top and I, I love them. 
this is the fun part where you can experiment and put anything you want on top but i just went for like the simple fruits um but you could also like put peanut butter on top i was thinking of putting like melted caramel swirl on top um but i ended up just going with fruits and you can always like put whipped cream or powdered sugar anyway those are those those are a couple of ideas that you could use So here's the finished product. I personally think that they're really pretty and the like contrast in colors is really pleasing to the eye. <laughs> um, here I am trying to do the fancy like taking a bite thing, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you guys soon. Um, I really, really, really want to be posting like on schedule, but school is really like hard and kicking my butt this year. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just hope that everyone's doing well and you're staying safe during this like just hard time. <laughs> and yeah, wash those hands. And I hope you guys enjoy this recipe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh, also, I never say this, but subscribe and like. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I love the comments. The comments are, like, my favorite part. Like, subscription and, like, those numbers don't matter. But I love reading comments. Anyways, I'm rambling. Okay, bye!